Imagine being enshrouded in a mist so thick you can barely see the path in front of you. This is akin to navigating the terrain of a toxic relationship, where confusion and emotional turmoil obscure clarity and peace. Each step feels uncertain, and each breath feels heavy with doubt. It's not merely about discomfort, toxic relationships can severely impair one's mental and emotional health. But what if you could clear the fog? What if you had the tools to recognize toxicity, safeguard your well-being, and navigate your way to healthier interpersonal landscapes? This video explores these questions, offering a lifeline to those entangled in damaging relationships, be it personal or professional. Toxic relationships are characterized by consistent detrimental behaviors that diminish the involved party's sense of dignity and self-worth. Such relationships can exist between friends, family members, romantic partners, or colleagues. They are often marked by elements of control, deceit, manipulation, and neglect, all of which breed an environment of insecurity and distress. Understanding this framework helps us pinpoint specific behaviors and patterns that signify toxicity. By recognizing these early on, individuals can take proactive steps toward healthier interactions. Engaging with toxic individuals can lead to severe psychological consequences, including anxiety, depression, and decreased self-esteem. Toxic people often have a profound ability to push buttons by exploiting vulnerabilities and insecurities in others. This, in turn, can lead to chronic stress and affect one's overall mental health. To counteract these effects, it's crucial to understand the profiles of toxicity. This knowledge helps in early detection and empowers individuals to seek appropriate help and interventions. Toxic relationships thrive on a complex interplay of psychological manipulation and social dependency. These dynamics are often subtle, making them difficult to detect until much damage has been done. They may involve patterns like passive aggressiveness, unpredictability, and isolation tactics, destabilizing the victim's emotional and social life. Understanding these dynamics provides a groundwork for recognizing when and how toxic behaviors manifest, thereby enabling early intervention. Personal familial, platonic, or romantic relationships can profoundly influence mental health. Recognizing toxicity in these relationships involves being attuned to signs like constant criticism, lack of support, emotional blackmail, and manipulation. This awareness can be transformative, as it encourages individuals to reassess and redefine these relationships, often steering them toward healthier interactions or necessary distancing. The workplace can also be a breeding ground for toxic relationships. Such environments may feature overbearing supervision, undercutting among peers, or a lack of colleague respect. Identifying these patterns is crucial for maintaining professional health and ensuring a productive working environment. Continual exposure to a toxic work environment not only jeopardizes one's career, but also extends its harmful effects into personal life, emphasizing the need for effective coping strategies. Emotional labor in toxic relationships often goes unrecognized, but can drain individuals significantly. This labor includes the effort to manage one's emotions to maintain relationship dynamics, which can be especially taxing in a toxic environment. 
In such contexts, individuals might find themselves suppressing their true feelings to avoid conflicts or to protect the emotional state of the other party, often at great personal cost. Understanding emotional labor helps in identifying the hidden strains in relationships and encourages a more equitable distribution of emotional responsibilities. Gaslighting is a manipulative tactic often used in toxic relationships to make someone question their reality, memory, or perceptions. Effective strategies to counteract gaslighting involve maintaining a firm grasp on reality through journaling, seeking external validation from trusted individuals, and professional counseling. By recognizing and understanding gaslighting, individuals can reclaim their sense of reality and decrease the manipulative control toxic persons may have over them. Setting boundaries is essential in any relationship, but crucial in dealing with toxic individuals. Boundaries help define what is acceptable and what is not, protecting one's mental and emotional health. They involve clear communication of one's limits and the consequences of violating them. Learning to set and enforce boundaries often empowers individuals, giving them control over their interactions and promoting respect in their relationships. Assertiveness training is a key strategy for those struggling to voice their concerns or needs in a relationship. It helps individuals communicate their thoughts and feelings openly and honestly without aggression or passivity. This is particularly important in toxic environments where one's voice might be suppressed or disregarded. Training in assertiveness can significantly shift the dynamics of a toxic relationship by fostering a culture of mutual respect and open communication. Therapy can be a transformative tool for individuals navigating toxic relationships. It provides a safe space to explore the feelings and patterns that arise in these interactions. Therapists can help individuals understand their relationships' underlying dynamics, offering insights crucial for emotional healing and development. Therapy encourages deeper self-awareness and aids in developing strategies to handle toxic relationships more effectively. In the fight against toxic relationships, having a robust support system can be your greatest asset. This system should include friends, family members, colleagues, or mental health professionals who understand and encourage your journey toward healthier relationships. The value of a support system lies not just in the emotional comfort it provides, but also in the reality checks and perspectives from those outside the toxic dynamic. By cultivating such networks, individuals enhance their resilience against manipulative behaviors and reinforce their perceptions and feelings, making them less susceptible to doubt and confusion. Self-care is crucial to recovering from the impacts of toxic relationships. Activities that foster physical, emotional, and mental well-being can restore the energy drained by negative interactions. Whether meditation, hypnosis, exercise, hobbies, or rest, self-care is a buffer against stress and helps maintain a healthy self-image. Emphasizing self-care empowers individuals to put their well-being at the forefront, which is often neglected in toxic dynamics. Detaching with love strategies for personal relationships. Sometimes the healthiest decision is to detach from a toxic individual, particularly in personal relationships. Detaching with love involves stepping back emotionally without anger or resentment while wishing the other person well. 
This approach helps maintain peace of mind and reduces emotional turmoil. Strategies for this kind of detachment include setting firm emotional boundaries, limiting personal interactions, and focusing on one's emotional needs. Navigating breaks in professional relationships. In professional settings, breaking away from toxic dynamics can be challenging due to formal and hierarchical structures. However, strategies such as seeking mediation, changing teams or departments, or in severe cases, seeking new job opportunities can be effective. Maintaining professionalism and documenting or journaling interactions can protect one's position and mental health. Mindfulness-based approaches to handling stress. Mindfulness techniques offer powerful tools for managing the stress associated with toxic relationships. Practices like mindful breathing, meditation, and mindful observation help center one's thoughts and emotions, reducing the impact of external negativity. Integrating mindfulness into daily routines can significantly improve emotional regulation and perspective in dealing with toxic individuals. Building Resilience – Tools for Emotional Strength Resilience is key to overcoming the challenges posed by toxic relationships. Building resilience involves developing a positive mindset, embracing change as an opportunity for growth, and learning from past interactions. Journaling, engaging in therapy, and continuous self-reflection contribute significantly to emotional strength and the ability to bounce back from adversities. Harnessing the power of positivity. Focusing on positivity can transform how one perceives and reacts to toxic relationships. This doesn't mean ignoring the negative aspects, but rather focusing on the positive elements in life that foster growth and joy. Practices like gratitude journaling or positive affirmations reinforce an optimistic outlook, which can shield against the draining effects of negativity. Rebuilding trust in relationships. After experiencing toxicity, rebuilding trust can be a daunting task. It requires time, patience, and consistency. Trust can gradually be rebuilt through small, dependable actions and open communication. It's also important for individuals to trust themselves and their judgment, which can be reaffirmed through successful boundary setting and personal development activities. Cultivating healthy interpersonal dynamics. Beyond navigating away from toxic relationships, it's crucial to cultivate healthy dynamics in new and existing relationships. This involves fostering mutual respect, open communication, and a reciprocal support exchange. Educating oneself and others about the characteristics of healthy versus toxic relationships can prevent future entanglements and promote a more nurturing environment. Reflections and moving forward. A roadmap to emotional well-being. The journey from recognizing and overcoming toxic relationships is pivotal not only to immediate mental health, but also to long-term emotional well-being. Reflecting on this journey helps consolidate the lessons learned and prepares one for healthier future interactions. Moving forward, when dealing with toxicity, it is essential to continue practicing the strategies discussed. Stay vigilant against toxicity and prioritize mental and emotional health. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and leaving a comment below. Don't forget to check out our other videos.